Hey y'all, welcome back to Cooking For Now, Jibui Glutton Edition. This is hopefully one of many humble tributes to Mr. Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli. Arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you so much for the creativity, love, and delicious food you put into every one of your films. If you haven't seen a Miyazaki or Studio Ghibli film, then I don't know what to say. Your life isn't complete. No matter, because today we're traveling to the magical world of my neighbor, Totoro. This beautiful film gives us a glimpse into childhood, serving as a reminder that the world is radiant and full of wonders. That every rock, tree, and creature has a life, has a spirit, has an... Wait, what the? But seriously, life is short, so enjoy it while you can. One of my favorite ways to enjoy life is to savor something sweet. In this scene, we find the Kusakabe family making their big move out to the country and sharing some caramel to pass the time. It just so happens that my best friend Stephanie is making her own move out to the country, and what better way to send her off than to hook her up with some of these sweet caramel candies. For this recipe, you will need one and a half teaspoons vanilla extract, two teaspoons salt, one tablespoon butter cut into small cubes, one and a half cups of heavy cream, one cup sugar, two thirds cup light brown sugar, firmly packed, and one third cup light corn syrup. First, lightly oil a baking pan or your desired mold. If using a baking pan, first oil, then lightly oil some parchment paper and place into the baking pan. The parchment paper will help remove the candy once it cools. Next, attach a candy thermometer to a medium-sized pot. Doing this now will allow you to adjust your thermometer easily later on. Mix together the cream, sugar, brown sugar, and corn syrup. Turn the heat to medium and, using a wooden spoon, stir constantly until the mixture comes to a boil. Quit stirring and reduce the heat to medium-low. Lower the candy thermometer and make sure it's not directly touching the bottom of the pan so that you can get an accurate reading. BT dubs Stephanie gave me this awesome piece of hardware. At this point, stirring will only cause crystals to form in the candy. Instead, just swirl the pot to avoid scorching. You may notice some sugar residue forming along the sides of the pot. This can cause crystals to form in your candy. To get rid of these, simply dip a pastry brush in warm water and brush down the sides of your pot. And now we wait, swirling occasionally until the temperature reads between 245 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the mixture has reached the desired temperature, turn the heat off and gently stir in the butter, salt, and vanilla. When everything is well incorporated, pour the caramel into your prepared pan. Ooh, let's watch that again. As an optional step, after a few minutes, add some rock salt for delicious salted caramels. Otherwise, let it be until the caramel cools completely. Clean up is a breeze. While you're waiting for your caramel to cool, just put all your dirty utensils back in the pot with some water and bring it to a boil. The sugar will dissolve and you can easily wash it afterwards. If you're messy like me, have no fear. Once everything is cooled, simply cut stray pieces away with a knife. Then eat it. Hum, hum, hum. Gently remove your caramel from its mold. I'm thinking at this point that a regular pan and parchment paper would have been easier. You just have to cut it to size with a warm wet knife. But here they are. Wrap the individual pieces in parchment paper and store in an airtight container. I chose a zip top bag and this decorative box. Cute, ain't it? It's easy. Just draw or print out a doodle on paper and slap it on a box. All right, the caramels are wrapped and ready to go. Let's run them over to Stephanie for a little taste test. What's up? Come in, y'all. 
All right. So, in honor of Stephanie's moving out to the country in Beaufort, South Carolina, I am presenting you with this box of tasty treats to help you pass the time on your journey. So now we're gonna taste them. Oh, they look cute. Top bag. Keep some fresh. Let's eat one. Let's try it. So what is this again? So this is um, caramel candy that we made based on my neighbor Totoro. <laughs> mm, they're really good. Mm, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like melting oh. your mouth. <laughs> mm. So, hopefully, um, this will help you pass the time on your trip. <laughs> They're really good. Alright, well, Seriously. best you best friend approved. Awesome. Well, thanks guys for joining us on another food adventure. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>